Hi there, welcome to the data science tutorials and in this video I will give you a quick introduction about Plotly. So Plotly as you can see it over here, it is plot.ly is the website name and it is used to, this, this is basically a package Plotly which is used to create the interactive charts within R and Python and if you have seen my previous videos in my channel data science tutorials, I have shown you a couple of charts like uh, Plotly charts, Plotly bar chart in our Plotly pie chart in R and all that. But I want to give you a quick introduction about how you can do or how you can create the Plotly chart within the Python. So what you need to do is uh, to install the Python is, uh, I'm sorry, install the Plotly, uh, this uh, exclamation sign and then pip install and Plotly. Once you execute this command, the Plotly will be installed in your environment. All right, so since I have already installed, I'm not gonna install it again. And what I'll do now, I will import Plotly dot offline because I'm working offline as PYO, right? And import a couple of uh, other libraries, sorry, pandas as PD. And let me import matplotlib just to give you the example about the differentiation between these two charts. Well, it will be pretty obvious once you will see it. As plt, I'll execute this command. Let me order the uh, import the orders file which I've been using in past videos as well and I'll put a link down there in the description from which you can download it. So orders is equals to pd dot read underscore axel and I will simply users and desktop and then sales.xls I hope it should be okay yeah it's absolutely fine and if I'll show you a couple of rules that's how the rules is and I, we will going to work on the sales data all right so now we are working with the real data no fake data nothing like it and uh, so once we are there I just uh, removed it by removing the values and just executing the command so that I have some space to work on. Now if I want to create a chart with the plotly plt dot plot I will simply say order dot sales right and uh, no execution but plt dot show all right what I have is a chart like this okay so very simple example what we are drawing is whatever there in the sales column so let me show you again if it is not clear um orders dot head and just two observations so this is what the sales value is in each row and this is the index so index is coming over here on the x-axis by default if you are not providing the value over here and by order dot sales is by default coming over here so somewhere it is highest and some so that's basically I would say an average but anything above average is highest so what it, it is doing nothing but just plotting the values what are here in this column which is a sales column over here all right so what I'm going to do is uh, since you can see uh, there is no interactivity so what I'll do is I'll create a plotly chart so uh, then you will see how interactive it is all right so pyo dot plot PYO is nothing but the plot layoff line and within the uh, list we need to so this is basically a part of the syntax that it takes a value as part of list and within the list if you have multiple parameters we provide it with the help of the dictionaries initially it will be a little bit daunting task but once you get used to it it will be pretty easy so within the list the curly bracket these uh, brackets we are providing the curly braces and within that which is a part of the dictionary notation and i'm providing the value uh, sorry the key as x that indicates the x axis and it is nothing but orders dot index right and if i provide the y value it will be pretty easy it's nothing but sales right and that's i think pretty much it what i need so let me go and execute it and as you can see that's where my chart is and if i hover over any value like uh, this one i am getting the respective values as you can see it there right 
So this is basically an interactive chart in just a couple of lines. Now I can uh, even slice it so I can see it much better. Further slice it. Yeah, that's how the values are coming and further slice it. Now the values are coming. So these, these are basically some of the icons. If I want to save the plot and add it in the cloud, download it as a PNG, zoom, pan, zoom in, zoom out. If I zoom out, it will come to its original uh, position and auto scale. Reset axis to come back to the original state. And then it has toggle spike lines, something like uh, show closest data on hover compare data on hover. all these things uh, we will see once the time will arrive but this is basically a basic representation i wanted to give you about how you can produce the plotly interactive chart within the python and as you can see it's simple command pyo.plot in case of matplotlib you are saying plt.plot and simply specifying the order.sales because Maybe because uh, this plot library is pretty mature, but in case of the plotly, you need to provide the x-axis and y-axis within these uh, syntax parameters. So it starts with the brackets and then the curly brackets and then specify the x and y-axis. Now, just to make a little uh, advancement or take a one other step, what we will do is we will create the chart which will indicate both order sales and profit right so what i'll do is i will create orders underscore sf which is sales and profit and i will subset the data set which is orders and i will just pick the column sales and profit so that's in that's the syntax to create the um, to create the subset if you have uh, seen my previous video it would be pretty easy to follow it so we are creating the data set with the help of just two columns so now orders underscore sf if i show you the head so here is my sales and profit column right and what i'm doing is i am again going and saying pyo dot plot and within these brackets curly brackets i'm saying x is equals to same orders dot index right and then i am going y y i have two values sales and profit so what i am going to say is orders column right because i need to specify column and how i will specify let me just show you in a couple of seconds and let's give it a name which is nothing but the legend uh, so that you can indicate what are these two different axes and that is nothing but call all right now we are here after the curly brackets so these are our parameters and we want y and name value for each of the column so for that i will write what you know as list comprehension right so for call in orders dot columns but one thing one mistake i'm doing over here if you have observed I'm using orders, but we created orders underscore SF. So let me just correct it quickly. I just noticed that I'm doing that mistake. Otherwise, it would have uh, taken all the columns like those 10, 15, 20, whatever number of the columns there in the orders data set and put it over here, which would be pretty messy. Though you can do that. Orders underscore SF dot columns. So now we are good. Let me just revise what we are doing over here. So we have first created the orders underscore sf which is sales and uh, profit for profit i have just indicated with f and uh, these are the two columns that we have taken out of the orders data set and now what we are trying to do is with the help of these two columns we are trying to plot these two columns on an interactive chart with the help of the pyo.plot command which is part pyo is nothing but plotly offline interface so pyo.plot within the bracket we have uh, curly brackets and now uh, we have x-axis which is nothing but the index index is this we have y-axis value for y-axis value for y-axis is coming from the columns columns are here sales and profit so that's why we have indicated that and we are providing name is column 
and the column values are coming from here this call value is coming from here so it is nothing but the list comprehension very straightforward technique but if you are finding it little bit difficult to understand i would really recommend you visit my previous videos where i have talked about the list comprehension and i think i should have the uh, playlist as well for the list comprehension yeah so there you have list comprehension which uh, you can see uh, i have just paused it so list comprehension with range create new dimension and all that sort of things all right so you can follow that if you, if you are finding it difficult to understand so what it is doing it is this for loop is going into each of the column which is this and assigning it value over here that's what it is doing and this value is then going into y and name right that's pretty much it straightforward then we are closing this uh, this square bracket and then this small bracket and let me execute this all right it is giving us error why it's because i have not put a comma so let me go ahead and execute that and now my chart is here clearly indicating giving us an indication what is sales and what is profit so though it has a high sale you know uh, it has this much of profit so and wherever we had the loss it's clearly indicating that so if i want let me drag it a little bit and further a little bit to really see where we are having profit and loss and accordingly i can do my data mining by looking at these and figure out why there are uh, losses which are happening and in which product in which geos in which region who is doing that what is those sales guys all of those things is the next set of questions that we usually ask when we start doing this analysis so that's pretty much all i have for you right now uh, as an introduction i think uh, we have covered a lot of good ground with this with the help of this you can do a lot of awesome stuff so i really recommend you explore this data if not this data then your own data to really try or make your hands sturdy with the python on the plotly interactive charts so that's pretty much it and i'll meet you in the new video the new topic